So the mental model we're talking about is either or, which mm -hmm. the way I understand it is how often um, when we're thinking or we're talking about things, we have to place everything into one or two categories. Mm -hmm. We're either this or we're that. Um, and it's either black or it's white, and there isn't a lot of room for gray. There's no room for thinking along a spectrum or yes. having understanding in that there are different ways. Either or thinking is limiting because we're dealing mm -hmm. with social constructs, mm -hmm. and social constructs never capture everything. Right. right? So often when we talk about race, because we're thinking of solutions for race equity, really only talking about race on a black and white paradigm. Mm -hmm. You know, we're thinking about either folks are white and privileged or they're mm -hmm. black and they're marginalized. For example, the Latino community. Mm -hmm. Latinos don't fully fit into one or the other because mm -hmm. uh, we're mixed. We bring nuances and differences that challenge the thinking about race. One of the things about either or thinking is that it doesn't allow you to accept different truths and mm -hmm. other perspectives. And story sharing is a great way to come to accept other people's truths. It's just the worldview has been different, our experiences have mm -hmm. been different, and it doesn't mean that you're right and I'm wrong or I'm wrong and you're right, but we actually do just have two truths at the same time. So yeah. story sharing, I think, is a great way to effectively combat how we think in like these dichotomies. We have to buy in to the mm -hmm. either or thinking and the oversimplification mm -hmm. and we put these values in there. And so that's deeply, deeply held. When we get challenged, mm -hmm. when people just give you the data on like actually what you're saying isn't true, it's an oversimplification in this way, or that's hard. It's easier to just, even when you have the data in front of you, to say, no, that's not real. I'm gonna stick with my either or thinking because I don't know how to dwell in the gray. But I think when you share stories, um, it's a more inviting space because you're, you're hearing someone else's experience. Like you're moving somebody's heart. Capitalism, racism, has an, it's, it's really made, a, made it so that way story sharing is not a part of our daily lives. Mm. The processes that we go through in our daily lives, getting jobs, things like that, story sharing is not, it's really just not a, um, something that is ingrained in the process. Mm -hmm. And so we, our natural tendency, I think, just living in the environment that we live in is to have this either or way of thinking but it's just so important to find a healthy way to combat that uh, just because it's so pervasive in the way that we move mm -hmm. in this society and our culture. Mm -hmm.